What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Um, I have a special guest today, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I have Joe Santi in the studio. So I haven't even given all of these people the tour of the studio. So why don't you tell them we you got the full? We're open now. Everything's going. What do you think? What do so I far? think? Yeah, I think this space is absolutely incredible. Oh, I want to congratulate you. Not only is the studio incredible. But the salon is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I mean, th th this space is comparable. I won't mention the name of any other companies I've ever worked with, but we had our own in-house studio. Yeah. And this just this blows it off the map. Oh, so thanks. This place is awesome, and what a nice area to do free salon education. Very cool. So Joe Santi's here. Um, we are going to we'll take some of your questions. Um, but the other great thing is he uh, has so much to talk about with Olaplex. So if you guys have Olaplex questions, that's great. He also uh, came out with this book. When when did you come out with this book? It was 2007. Okay, that's Do good. Dr. Lou and I are in, in the middle of t tweaking it again. It's yeah. called Passionate Salon Professionals, and it basically deals not with the people side and the, okay. the actual, when you, I don't like to use the word selling because it's really all in building relationships right. and educating. Yeah. Educating to me is that's what you've done. Right is basically been my mantra my whole career, which is if you educate the people properly, they're going to buy. And as long as they understand yeah. the product and what's going on, and that hopefully will transcend that to Olaplex as we go along. Here. Yeah, people need to realize that it's definitely not it's not about selling stuff. Correct. It's about educating people on something. And once you know about it, then you're you're apt to buy it at that point. Absolutely. So the other funny thing is we found out that we're actually close neighbors. So your salon's only what twenty minutes from here? A um, little further. Little it's probably, further. Probably like a half an hour away from okay. here. Okay. But so. I'm up. A new hope. Back when I was your age, <laughs> I was up here partying every weekend. This, yeah. This is an incredible, historic town yes. that has been people come in from all over the world to yeah. see New Hope. I hear that. So I moved here like 14 years ago, but I, I hear that this town was like, there was a lot of crazy stuff that was happening. Like even that bank that you pulled into earlier was supposedly like this crazy nightclub that- The prelude. The prelude, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've heard stories, so that's pretty cool. So, all right. They're all true, by the way. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. All right, so I want to pull up, see if we have some people on here. Let's see. Oh, I can hear us. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, but we're going to get into, I want to talk about some Olaplex stuff because okay. obviously free salon education uh, is a big supporter of Olaplex. Olaplex is a big supporter of free salon education. So um, we have the kit here. So let's talk about um, some different things. I want to go back to the beginning real quick of Olaplex because Dean, who is you know the owner of Olaplex, he reached out to you. You guys have known each other, right? Dean and I met um, in July of 2013 in Las Vegas at the Cosmoprof show. Okay. I immediately liked them, by the way. The, Dean and Darcy Crystal, the owners of this company, yeah. are beyond amazing when it comes to their love for hairdressers and the love for the great team that they... And we do work with a great team. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing hair 43 years, work with a lot of different companies. This company, by far, has the best team of people in the world. You know what I love about it, too, um, now that I've been closer in Olaplex and, and meeting people? It's not a big team. You know, it's a very close-knit, like, uh, great company with, you know, if you need to talk to somebody, it's very simple to find somebody to talk to, you know? Absolutely. And uh, so I really like that. So tell me, um, so keep going. Okay, so we said outside the... Actually, it was really funny. A, the owner of a PR company who you might know, Jane Morehouse, okay. called me on my cell phone. She goes, are you still here? Meaning at Cosmoprof. And it happened to be one of the years where I went as a spectator. I wasn't working. Okay. So I said, yeah, I'm still here. Why? Well, there's this gentleman by the name of Dean Crystal that says he has something for a permanent wave. And I told him, you got to talk to Joe if it's anything to do with a permanent wave. Okay. Immediately like Dean. Dean is the most down-to-earth, personable, warm person you could ever meet. Right. So he sat outside the ballroom for three hours. He explained to me that he thought he had something that was going to really lessen the damage that perms did to the hair. And at the time, he talked about multiplying bonds, which I didn't quite comprehend, obviously, right. yeah. because essentially Olaplex created that category. Yeah. I walked away after three hours saying, if Dean is just this much right, this is going to revolutionize the whole industry. Yeah. So I flew back the next day. The non-disclosure agreements were my email. I signed them. Dean had the product in my hands that Friday okay. after I returned from Vegas. 
Saturday I did my first perm with it and I lucked out. I get I don't know how you get your models at Free Salon Education, but right. I use Craigslist a lot. Okay. So I don't really get quote fashion models. Yeah. yeah. But I struck gold where I got someone I didn't care what the model looked like. I cared right. about the hair. Yeah. I found somebody that was using uh, a certain box hair color, okay. the number one selling color in the world on her hair. Right. Thought what a great one to test for damage because a lot of times you couldn't get a perm to take on color treated hair, especially okay. box color. Did the perm, used the Olaplex, came out marvelously. Nice. And it was been a great ride since then with perming, but ironically, all the boring stuff in our industry, I always enjoyed the chemistry, uh, digging deeper, even in permanent waving, to, to right. present permanent waving and make it interesting to most people, you really have to dig and find something that they could latch onto. Right. So I thought, now this product works with the disulfide bonds, Permanent wave lotion affects the disulfide bonds, but so does lightener. So one night, it was about 10.30 in the salon, I took some Olaplex, and not that much. I use very little Olaplex, which are right. directions. You know, With Olaplex, less is more. So I put some in lightener, took a mannequin, put a few foils in, and I returned to the salon about 12 hours later, whatever it was, 10, 11 o'clock the next day. Opened the foils, and I had this great blonde with no breakage, no dryness, so then I started to use it on humans to see. I, I like to do at least 40, sometimes 100 heads before I actually say, this works. Right. I'm known for a technique drying protein into the hair. Yeah. But that I did on a multitude of heads before I even made that public. Okay. So I called Dean and I said, Dean, forget the perm market. This product in lightener and color is nothing short of amazing. Okay. <laughs> what called, did he say? He, he called me back. He goes... My chemist said you were crazy. And I said, I might be crazy, but I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'm telling you, this works great. It's also typical hairdresser because I love like a new product comes out because, you know, I've done work with product companies for a long time. It's like, oh, we have this amazing like, let's say, demi hair color and you mix it with this processing solution. And then all of a sudden you, there's always a hairdresser that's like, but I mix it with 40 volume and it worked <laughs> great. You know, like it's there's always like we're always pushing things and trying different things with a product, you know? So I think that that's cool that you did that, but you saw the result, right? And then... Well, you, you can't, like a lot of this stuff you can't wantonly do. Right. Again, uh, when I read some of the emails I get and some of the things on Facebook, something might work with one person. Right. But as a company, we can't take that one success they had and that's going to work for... Exactly, Everyone. Yeah. One of the companies I worked for had a huge test center in New Jersey, and we would take at least a, you know, a study of 100 people before you'd make a claim or do anything about it. Right. I actually didn't call Dean till I used it on at least 40 heads. Okay. That's, that's been the number in my head my whole career. Something has to work 40 times for me, and then I'm comfortable with making a blanket statement about it. Okay. And that's, that's smart. That's the, that's the way it was. Dean, you know... Dean believed in me. Uh, he got people like Tracy Cunningham and some of the top colorists that were in Beverly Hills and California in his area yeah. and tried it, and the rest was history. Yeah, so. and I remember um, uh, you know, a few years ago when we started Free Salon Education, I reached out to you. Was it you that I reached out to? Or I, I we forget. actually, we we, actually spoke. We, we didn't speak. My receptionist <laughs> took your call, okay. and like I said to you back then, I was probably getting three or four phone calls, three to four phone calls a week. Yeah. Some of them were scammers. Some of them were people yeah. trying to find out yep. what they could, which was, I, had, I actually had somebody call me from another company, said, could you please tell me what the secret ingredient is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, exactly. Sure. It's yeah. bisaminopropyl diglycol to malleate. Uh, right. Thanks for the call. Yeah. And, you know, but, so that's right. funny. And that, and that goes to show all of you guys out there that if you're trying, you know, we started that conversation forever ago. Now it's three years, three, four years later, and we're sitting together, we're working with Olaplex, and it's just been uh, great. So let's talk about, so Dean, you told him that you thought it was great in hair color, and the, the rest is pretty much Lightener and, and hair color. And lightener I use and hair lightener, color. Right. And then, um, so now, moving forward, I was in Texas last week, so were you. You were teaching for Olaplex or for yourself? Oh, no, no, I work. I work full time for Olaplex. Okay. I was teaching for Olaplex, but what I what I'm known for is permanent waving. Exactly. 
so when I left my one big company, I was approached by the distributor we were working for and said, would you do uh, some f standalone education for us? And I said, surely. Okay. And I'd been doing that for years. And when I went with Olaplex, I always like it fair for whoever I'm working for. Right. So I'll still do it. And you still want the permanent wave education, but now it's permanent waving with Olaplex, with Olaplex which right. has been great. I would have never... I would never be able to do some of the heads that I've done without the Olaplex. Okay. And if we, if I had this when I was younger, doing like eight to 15 perms a day, eight to 12 perms a day on a consistent basis, right? the market would have never gone away. Okay, Olaplex is definitely going to be the spark. And you see it with the amount of things people post, with the permanent wave sales starting to increase, yeah. that it will definitely come back because I really believe texture. Everybody needs some form of texture because they get tired of their hair. Yeah. If you have straight hair, you want wave or curl. If you have curly hair, you want to use either a thio-based straightener or a sodium-based relaxer to take some of that curl right. out of there. So Well, and now that Joe is our neighbor, he's going to be coming here doing perm videos hopefully quite often. So Absolutely. If you guys would like to see that, let us know in the comments as well. So, um, so let's talk about perms for a second. Obviously, I don't really do too many perms. Right? We talked about that. But... It's not that I don't like them. People don't request them here in, in our salon. But I think I definitely, I'm not, everybody's been saying perms are coming back for like 10 years. But I really do feel like. 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it, um, I, I think they can come back. I get what you're saying. So tell me that, is it because of the damage that perms kind of went away? Or what do you think, what do you think the reason is that perms kind of, fell off the map a little bit. Well, there was more than yeah. one reason. I mean, okay. obviously, styles went straighter. Right. One of the worst things that hit the industry, and one iron. of the best <laughs> things that hit the industry, right. was a flat iron. Right. The deal is you don't need a flat iron that cranks up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit right. to straighten the hair. Now, I love doing Japanese thermal reconstruction, which is a thio-based way to straighten the hair. Okay. I was certified, quote, taught by the Japanese they never used irons over 360, 380. Okay. Once you crank up an iron too high, all you're doing is burning that hair. Yep. One iron manufacturer even came out with a video showing just how, uh, it was it 10 seconds at these higher temperatures, it turns the hair yellow. Yeah. It burns. You, you don't yeah, need to do that. I'm sure a lot of people so, have seen that happen. Right. You, those of you that are out there that are watching this, turn your iron down to 380 and try it. You're going to get the same great end results. What actually you need is you need the heat, but you also need the tension and you need a small enough section of hair if you're doing a thio straightening. If you're straightening your hair with a flat iron on a day-to-day -day basis, you need that hair at least 80 to 90% dry. Once you hear a sizzle, you're boiling that internal structure. Right. And if you stop and think, you talk about French fries. People fry French fries at 325 to 375, right. yet they'll take a flat iron and pull it through the hair. One thing that's cool, though, with the Olaplex, especially with, the, I, I always implore people, please do our standalone treatment first yeah. so you get a better grasp on how the technology works, but it helps to lessen the damage that even a flat iron does. So also. let's talk about the, the standalone treatment. Okay. Well, how do you do that? Standalone treatment, the way I do it personally, mm -hmm. I like to make sure there's a, a, a clean base. Okay. So if a client has no product on their hair, I'll pick up a water bottle, s squirt it through, dampen it down, take a half an ounce of the number one with three ounces of water. Yeah. If you have hard water, my advice is use distilled water. Steam distilled water is 82 cents a gallon. I mean, you could mix a half an ounce or three ounces of water. It's wonderful. I was laughing. You use essential water. Yeah. I've been touting drinking alkaline water for years, and people thought I needed a tin foil hat. But now, like you said, <laughs> right. essential is the number one seller it is, right yeah. now in water. And as a matter of fact, my, I was laughing. My girlfriend, goes, she works in a hotel in Center City, Philadelphia. Yeah. She, they had something like the international rugby team or whatever stayed at the hotel. She goes, you've just seen the cases of essential water that came in. Yeah. So it's... It's amazing. I, I and really that mean. came from a Facebook video, you know? So it was a video comparing all of the waters and the pH levels. And then that one had the best pH level. Exactly. So all of a sudden it's the number one selling water. It's like that's the way that things take off nowadays. You it's, know? It's, it's unbelievable. Who would have thought a water would be like there would be a cool water? 
Exactly. You know? like, <laughs> who would have thought? But. And who thought suckers like us would be paying a dollar sixty nine a liter too? But exactly. that's okay. Yeah. I feel much better drinking yeah. it. Yeah. I buy so. like a another water. I'm like, is this water good for me? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just such a weird thing. Um, but it is the reality now. So right. So we have the number one on there. Yep. And we recommend a minimum of 10 minutes. So you set a timer for 10 minutes. Yeah. At the end of 10 minutes, you take our number two. I can't, I don't want to bang any no. of these microphones. No, you're good. You take our number two and you put on a generous amount. By generous amount, I don't mean put it on, comb it through, comb out the excess. Leave the excess on there. We give in our kits one number one and two number twos. If the number two is used properly, you're going to run out of the number two at the same time you run out of number one. Okay. Okay. So you leave that on for 10 minutes. Now, these are our guidelines. Right. 10 with the number one. You don't rinse. You bring down the number two in a generous amount for 10 minutes. Yep. Then you shampoo and condition out. And that's it. That's as simple as it gets. Yeah. And I implore people that use it for the first time, do half a head. Right. Take, take somebody, take one of your relatives, take a friend, do half their head and do the other half, leave it alone and you'll see a huge difference. I yeah. did this. I couldn't find the pictures for you today. or We could have thrown them up there. Right. But I did it on one of our clients. I had her come in and said, I, I want you to see exactly what this is going to do for your hair. Okay. Now, you have other schools of thought on this, too, because people go, well, what's the difference between number two and number three? Number three is never used in the salon. That's the take home. Okay. And people say, well, how, how long do you want us to leave that on? You have people that sleep in it. Yeah. yeah, people leave it on for an hour. Ten minutes is the minimum to get, you know, the benefits that Ola, the Olaplex is going to produce. Yeah. But it could be left on as long as you, it's not going to hurt the hair whatsoever. And the other thing people have to realize, this is not a conditioner. Yeah. My, my friend Jeff Schwartz, who's the VP of sales, we've worked together on and off for 38 years. Right. Because people are creatures of habit. Yeah. When they t see a cream base, they immediately want to shampoo, put this on, yep. and then rinse it out. And they, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, because they'll even um, like when you put this on the hair, they'll rinse it out and then just leave it, and that's that's it for the day. Exactly. Not realizing that this is not a conditioner. And what I was told is like the conditioning. So it's a cream base for the delivery, Correct. but it's not. But the conditioning agents are were never put into it. So like conditioner is more than just a cream. It obviously has conditioning properties. There's no conditioning properties in here. This is just the the bond. Exactly, and bond multiplier. And that's yeah. why you want to use a shampoo and conditioner at the end. I right. mean, you, you and I spoke about knockoffs, which is funny. It's 146 yeah. knockoffs. Yeah. I'm convinced when people test us against something else, they don't shampoo and condition it afterwards. A lot right. of these knockoffs come with a shampoo and conditioner, right. which they need. We, whatever you're currently using in the salon, we act as an adjunct to it, and we work with all manufacturers, yeah. whether it's a chemical service product or whether it's a liquid beautifully yeah so all right cool so that's the uh that's the standalone treatment we also um the people m mix up the mixing i guess you could say like they they're mixing too much olaplex and so what would you say to those people out there less is more yeah keep in the back of your head less is more this number one is highly concentrated I never told you about the time I was on QVC Germany where I knocked over the whole studio. You so did? I told, yes. <laughs> I laughed. I had to work with an interpreter. The table's not very stable. There, so. there you go. I won't knock that over. So, for example, if you're doing a single process color, that is all you want is a 32nd of an ounce to go into that bowl of color. Yeah. If you're doing a lightener, an eighth of an ounce Unless you're using, like most of us mix two to four scoops of lightener yeah. to two to four ounces. It's, that's a fly that doesn't want to go away. <laughs> he, he, he's born for show business. Exactly. He wants a standalone <laughs> treatment. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> going to rebond his yeah, wings. Yeah, exactly. So you would use an eighth of an ounce okay. in the lightener. Now, again, Olaplex is not a magic wand. It's meant to be used in conjunction with your professional judgment. Yeah. I tell people all the time, sometimes you wet light and tear. And it coagulates. It gets very gelatinous on the ends. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to bring that hair back to light. Th those bonds are already gone in the hair. Right. Uh, a lot of times when people over-process hair, they don't realize they, they've broken all the structures down. So what's left when it gets gelatinous is just a hollow tube. So there's nothing even in there to rebond. Okay. Interesting. And, and there's definitely different... Um 
levels for different types of lightener too, right? So, because I know that they were saying with balayage lightener, there's a little bit different measurements. Is that true or no? I, here's the deal. <laughs> it's right there. Simplicity. Yeah. Einstein always said, if you, if you can't make it simple, yeah. <laughs> then you don't understand it. Okay. With Olaplex on the scalp. What, up, a little bit. There you go. Push me in. Sorry, guys. Now you can see why I knocked over the studio. Okay. So it's a sixteenth of an ounce to one to two ounces of bleach powder. For the it's a, okay. Right. So they have lightener and that's for balayage. For lightener yeah. and foils, They're they say an eight of an ounce for one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm telling you, if you have hair that you think is in fairly good shape, yeah. that sixteenth of an ounce is it's gonna great. cover it. Dean is the only gentleman that owns a company that when I went on full time with Olaplex, I said to him, you know, when I originally did everything, I used a lot less than what the instructions are reflecting. Yeah. That he actually let me rewrite the directions and knowing that people were going to use less Olaplex. Right. But it's very economical to use like that. One of yeah. the things I hear when I'm doing a show or on my emails, it's too expensive. It is not. It comes no. down. It's between 12 and 23 cents per application. Right. So... Not too expensive. Yeah, at all. not at all. It's the cheapest product you can use in the salon. Exactly. It's just initially, for some reason, people see that price tag and they're like, "Oh, but this is this lasts a long time." But, but again, many services. It's, it, to me, the Olaplex is not only an investment in your client's hair; it's an investment in you. Yeah. Because it really allows you to make more income. Most salons that I deal personally with, they've raised their prices across the board yeah. and then they use whatever Olaplex is necessary. Right. And the number three, the number three should be flying off the shelves because client spends 150, 250. Sometimes I'm in the salons in Beverly Hills and the numbers are just like funny money to yeah. me. You spend that much money, you want to protect your investment. Yeah, so. for sure. All right, cool. So anything else you want to talk about with that? The thing is with you guys, we're going to be making a lot more Olaplex and perming and all different types of videos and Joe's going to be, you know, helping us out. So, um, liking the stuff. Thank you for liking. Okay. Very cool. Uh, the perm videos are definite guys. <laughs> the, yeah. They will be, a, I've dreamt of coming, you know, Olaplex, I thank God for every day and this studio, you can't see what I'm looking at at the moment. But this studio is beyond comprehension for what, what Matt and Thad and his whole team have done here is nothing short of amazing. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, everybody seems to, to be excited about perm videos. So cool. let's do this, right? We'll do it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to us live here. Um, Joe, thank you for making the trip up to the studio. My, my pleasure. Excited thank you, everybody, for watching in the middle of a Wednesday. Or yeah. <laughs> What's your social media? Do you have uh, people follow you on anything? I have an Instagram that my daughter yells me at all the time. <laughs> we got to work on that. So we'll get. I wanted to sit in on your class this weekend, but Gino beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get you. Uh, we'll get that hooked up as well. There but you go. Definitely. You can go find him. Joe Santi on everything. Check out the local hair shows. You'll probably see a class with the U.S. Well, exactly. what shows are you going to be at coming up? Coming up, see, this weekend is Interquafur, then Phoenix, and then okay. Cleveland. So there's nothing really local. But, okay. Well, but, but local to these people. You can reach me. Yeah. Listen, joe at olaplex.com if you have any questions. And I give out my cell number because my whole career, I've been based in helping hairstylists. You have any questions about Olaplex whatsoever, you can reach me again, joe at olaplex.com or 215-280-9812. Thanks. That's a that's a that's a that's good brave man. actually. That is brave. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next.